Hey guys, welcome back to Connor Warner's uh, Today I'm gonna show you my SRU Wolverine Bolt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna show you what I did to put the line in and how I put the fitting in for the Wolverine Bolt. And uh, it's been so long because I've been uh, testing this stock out in uh, a couple games. It works pretty well other than this bolt every once in a while it gets stuck because the alignment it has too much slop in it and another thing is a lot of people on uh, the internet said this doesn't work very well the button bag release um, so I always have to hold hold it in and sometimes it doesn't load and I have to, have to push up on it and it doesn't work very well um, not sure if I need to sand down some plastic in there so maybe the mag release will let loose because I think it might be too tight uh, other than that it operates the same shoots the same it feels a little different it feels a little bit more big and stocky and uh, future look uh, futuristic a lot of people like it a lot it catches a lot of people's eyes so uh, stay tuned for more and uh, uh, I'm going to be taking this apart. First off there's two bolts here, a bolt there, and there's some bolts up on top here. I believe there's one at the bottom and then there's one here. There's a lot of bolts to hold this thing together. One in there and a couple up here that hold the rail on and uh, I'm gonna take it apart real quick and show you the insides. Look guys I got the stock off. Uh, this is where I have my battery. I had it up in uh, stored it way up in there and uh, rolled up the extra wiring and shoved it back in there so it won't get in the way of my my bolt sliding back and that worked out nicely and this is how the trigger works you have this this trigger bar here and uh literally this this is just the fake trigger you uh press on it and then it pushes that here's the the bar Oh, which is that's really neat so you actually save I don't know four to five inches of space though I guess the rifle is actually kind of smaller even though it kind of adds a little bit of bulk because how big this stock is and has a little bit more bulk in this receiver area but other than that it's made of a really good quality uh, 3d printed plastic which is really different I tell people all the time about this rifle and that's 3d printed and they and people think it's really awesome so let's get these parts out of the way off to the side and uh, next I, this real quick my uh, phone's almost out of storage let me show you this real quick I uh, grinded out the uh, inside there so my fitting here could fit and then ground out uh, that wire with that area for the wire uh, airline and then put a hole there so you could uh, feed it on through and then store the battery I believe I already said that up in there and that's pretty much the only modding I did we put it together with the instructions the instructions doesn't tell you very much but it was just enough to get her done uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one.